obviously in other news of that is also related to sports, um, there's been major flooding in Louisiana. And last year, South Carolina dealt with some major flooding as well. And it was LSU who actually came to help them, donated some stuff, uh, some items, helped pay. And also, uh, it was they were so it happened during the time when South Carolina was supposed to host LSU in a football game, and they switched. Uh, they, they it went to LSU. They had the game played at LSU Tiger Stadium in October 2015, and all net proceeds from that game were given to South Carolina because, again, it was supposed to be their home game. But it's a nice thing to see LSU do that. Uh, and it was a pretty good game, too. It was a pretty good game. Uh, and now, again, like I said, LSU is helping – or, excuse me, South Carolina is now helping LSU. Quote, LSU was so gracious to assist us in our time of need. Now it's our turn to help our SEC friends. I encourage all Gamecocks to drop off items needed for the Brown and Brood flood relief. End quote. That's what South Carolina President uh, Harris – Pastides said in a statement. Now, according to the release, the items in need from the Baton Rouge community include baby and adult diapers, baby, uh, baby formula, canned food, foods in plastic containers such as peanut butter and jelly, uh, individually packaged crackers, snacks, breakfast bars, multi-packaged cereal, new and unopened socks, underwear, towels, and blankets. Um, so it's a good thing for South Carolina to come and help their partner after they were also helped. Uh, and also, back to that game, I forgot about this, LSU running back Leonard Fournette auctioned off his game-worn jersey to help raise money for the flood reliefs efforts in South Carolina, and the winning bid for that package that included his jersey uh, was $101,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, it's, it, it was just a great thing to see that South, Co- South Carolina was helping uh, Louisiana, because not only, LSU is not the, obviously the only school uh, being affected. There are others. Uh, Tulane, I mean, just the whole state of Louisiana is underwater right now. So um, I thought it was a good story to include into the show. And good thing, good props to South Carolina. Obviously, prayers are to all families, football related or not, uh, in Louisiana for those flooding. Because I, every time I see flooding like this now, it I, <laughs> I have like a small, tiny uh, PTSD. Uh, because of the flooding that happened here in San Marcos. I was one of those that was trapped uh, and had to be rescued out. That was, uh, I, I get small, tiny butterflies. That's that's all I'm affected by. Uh, when I see water, <laughs> when I see flood water, ew, it's, it's, it's crazy. But anyways, good thing about South Carolina. Out of the coast, oh.